Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new Ninjago video here on the channel. My name is Tanner Fishies. In today's video, we are going to be discussing Ninjago set number 71806, Cole's Elemental Earth Mech. This set contains 235 pieces and retails for $19.99 or $20 USD. Now this set was pretty high on my wish list for the Ninjago 2024 January set wave just because Cole is my favorite ninja. However, this set also had me pretty worried because the initial pictures of this thing really did not look all that impressive. However, upon getting the set, building it, and spending a few days with it, it's definitely not the worst thing ever. Is it a great mech? I'd say no. Is it a good mech? Sure, but for today's video, my goal is to talk about this set as openly and honestly as possible. This will not be a professional LEGO review, as I am not a professional LEGO review channel, but I do like to talk about the sets that I buy, and this one right here, like I said, I do have some thoughts. It definitely has some strengths, but also some weaknesses. So without further ado, let's start talking about this set as openly and honestly as possible. Hope you enjoy my review, and let's get things started. First things first, here is the front of the box. It is still a box, and the back of the box continues to make the box a box. Moving on. All right, so starting off with minifigures, we have two in total in this set to discuss. The first one is, of course, Cole in his new Dragon's Rising Season 2 attire. Now, this figure I have already discussed in a previous video where I looked at all of the Dragon's Rising Season 2 ninja, so I'm not going to spend too much time talking about this guy right here, but I do think he is rather cool. Uh, no golden shoulder pad, though, unfortunately. Um, because how else would he fit in the mech, right? Like I said in the J review, though, that I posted yesterday, maybe they could have just included it just because, you know, for completion's sake. I don't know, that's neither here nor there. Overall, I love these Dragons Rising Season 2 Ninja. I think they all look fantastic, and Cole is no exception, with his awesome color scheme of the black, the orange, and the gray. I think he looks really, really good. And finally, the only other figure that you get in this set is a bad guy. This is a Wolf Mask Warrior, and we've looked at these guys before, too. They all use the exact same torso print, leg print, uh, even the same face underneath that awesome Wolf Mask mold, which I still really enjoy. Like I said, this mask mold is absolutely amazing, and this guy right here is armed with a machete. It's kind of cool, I guess. Love the symbol on the back. This guy also has shoulder armor. Uh, not too bad. It's nice that they include one little villain in this set, though with the entire set more or less being just Cole's mech, this guy doesn't really have a whole lot to fight against Cole's mech with. I doubt that machete will do much damage. And of course, with no other side builds, let's talk about the mech itself. Now, I already have Cole in there. It's very easy to get him in there. This uh, canopy section just folds down. Cole just kind of sits in there like so fold that back up. Uh, that print right there is a print, not a sticker. A lot of the other mechs use something similar. And overall, this Cole mech, it's not too bad. It's also not the best thing ever. I feel like I should take the hammer away just so we can get a better look at the mech itself. Though the hammer is rather nice. Uh, these things spin, so articulation if you want. Hammer articulation. Otherwise, yeah, it just kind of tabs into the hand with one of those Technic pins. I believe it can go on either hand. Both hands have one of those holes, so no matter what you want, the mech can hold it. Uh, in either hand, and that's pretty much it for the hammer. Uh, it's it's a hammer. <laughs> Not the most complicated build ever, but it is a hammer. Uh, with the hammer out of the way, though, let's bring in the actual mech here and talk about its articulation. So first of all, ball joints at the shoulders. Both arms have the exact same level of articulation. No elbow, but it does use a couple of those SCCBS pieces that simulate an elbow. That's exactly what that piece is designed to do. So no elbow, but you do get a similar uh, simulated elbow. It's more or less just an elbow bend. Uh, the hands are stupid. First of all, there's no like uh, wrist posability or anything like that. There's not even any sort of thumb. It's just like two fingers. It's more like just one big finger. <laughs> and I don't really like how that looks. Uh, they probably could have given it like some type of actual hand, but they decided not to. Oh well. In terms of the legs, the lower body, uh, again, no knee but there is a simulated knee bend, not using one of those uh, SCCBS pieces, but just a completely different piece altogether. 90 degree angle right there. Uh, these pieces are new. These just kind of plug into the knee 
as uh, knee armor, I guess. Kind of hard to get that back in there. There you go. Uh, the other leg is the exact same. The foot is on a ball joint, so you can move that any which way that you want. Ball joints are ball joints. Again, ball joints at the hips. And it does have waist uh, posability, if you can hear that. Probably not. It's a very quiet ratchet joint. Clickety-clackety ratchet joint. So yeah, posability is definitely limited, but it's also not the worst thing ever. I could have done maybe with some knees, maybe even some elbows, but the simulated knees and elbows, again, it's not the best thing ever, but at least it's there for something. Uh, the biggest gripe for me is the hands. I don't like the hands at all. Feel like they could have put a little bit more effort into the hands. Uh, like I said, Cole just kind of sits in there using the canopy. Nothing too crazy there. On the back as well, there's not a whole lot going on. I do like how the arms are actually built though, talking about the construction of the arms. These pieces, same pieces that are used on the knees, do those move? They do not move. They're just clipped in there. Um, but yeah, I like how that looks. Very beefy. You can definitely tell that this mech is packing strength. Not so much maybe speed, but maybe this could be the strongest mech of all of them, like in terms of raw physical strength. I also like how the lower arms are built up using these transparent orange pieces. Kind of simulates uh, the lava arms on Cole, you know, when he activates his earth punch. I think that looks pretty cool. Again, this is a very earth themed mech, and I guess that's appropriate considering that this is supposed to be Cole's elemental earth mech. I also really like how the torso is built up. Uh, you see a lot of like rock type pieces in there. Like these look like they could be made of stone or lava. I think that's cool. Again, capturing that earth element. I'm not sure how to feel about the top of the mech. That's a little bit too smooth for my taste. Maybe they could have gone for a more rugged texture like we see over here with the shoulder pads and the lower arms. I don't know. The torso is cool. Just looks a little bit too smooth in some areas. I feel like the entire mech has a nice rocky texture to it, except right here it's kind of distracting all things considered maybe i'll go back through and modify that eventually or you know maybe i just won't i don't know what i'm gonna do with this thing just yet um but overall yeah very representative of the earth element uh also the beefiness extends into the legs with that with those giant knee pads like i mentioned earlier and the feet too very consistent color scheme all around with black orange gold gray all of the classic coal colors uh overall this mech isn't too bad it's definitely not my favorite coal mech ever and in fact we are supposed to be getting a bigger coal mech later this year for a different wave so i guess we will see what that mech looks like and we can compare the two and uh speaking of comparisons let's bring in some of the other mechs from this same series just to show you how they stack up with Cole's mech. Now, right off the bat, here we have another mech from this same line. This is Sora's Elemental Tech mech. I have not reviewed this set just yet, but I will be reviewing that very soon. Uh, but as you can see, Sora's mech, it's a lot taller than Cole's mech. And even with uh, another mech from this same wave, uh, from this same trilogy, if you will, that of course being Kai's fire mech right here, uh, it's also a lot taller than Cole's mech. So Cole's mech, while it might not have a whole lot of height compared to the, uh, compared to the other mechs, it definitely has a lot of uh, width and beefiness. It looks a lot stronger than some of the other mechs, especially Sora's tech mech. I would believe that Cole's mech could beat Sora's mech in a fight, uh, you know, because what it lacks in height it makes up for in strength. This is a very beefy mech, which I guess does fit the earth elements. I mean, it would be weird if Cole had like a super tall mech, like a really tall and lanky mech. Cole's mech should be a lot beefier uh, just to showcase the, the raw strength of the earth element, I'd say. And I feel like this mech does that very well. Now, with that being said, you can still do the whole uh, part swapping gimmick with some of the other mechs as well. I'm not going to do that in this video, uh, but the waist disconnects. You can disconnect the two legs, the arms. In fact, let's bring in the box really quick just so you can see some of these combinations here. Uh, forgive me, I do have some parts rattling around in the box. Um, but you can see some different combinations there, how that whole system works. And it's interesting, I guess. We've seen a little bit of this in the uh, series of shorts for these mechs, which are more or less designed to promote these mechs. And, you know, that's all fine and dandy. Not really for me, though. That's more of a play thing than a display thing. I think as it is right here, Cole's mech is perfectly fine. Uh, it just has a couple of uh, little things that I don't really care for. More specifically, the hands. Uh, 
and the legs as well aren't the best ever. They're kind of barren. They're kind of, you know, relying on this piece right here. Taking that off, that looks kind of uh, pathetic, not very good. So they kind of rely on these gigantic knee pads, but, uh, you know, not the worst mech ever for Cole. Could have been a lot better though at the end of the day. And really quick, let's do a couple of other fun comparisons with some other things that I have on standby. So just moving Cole's uh, Elemental Earth mech out of the way. Here is my mock of the Cole Golem form from Dragon's Rising Season 1, which I know a lot of people really wanted this to be. Uh, it's not, obviously. These are going for very different things. Um... But still, there's that comparison, I guess. I feel like this would have worked as a golem form, though, if they really wanted to make that. But who knows? Like I said, we do have another Colmec coming very, very soon uh, for one of the later waves this year. Maybe that mech will finally be a golem mech. I don't know. But, you know, there's that comparison. And we've already done comparisons to the other two mechs from this wave. But just for fun, let's bring in... Just a random Transformer. This is Gamer Edition Starscream. Just had him on standby. Um, yeah, pretty similar in terms of size. So I guess Cole's Earth Mech is around the same size as a medium-sized Transformer. Awesome. And really quick before we wrap up, here we have the spare parts and the instruction manual. Uh, there are no stickers used in this set either. So to wrap up my thoughts on Cole's Elemental Earth Mech, first of all, would I recommend it? Uh, sure, but only if you're a fan of Cole. I feel like Cole fans will have a lot of fun with this mech. Sure, it's not perfect, the legs are kind of hit or miss, and I wish it had actual hands as opposed to just one, uh, nub <laughs> that it calls a finger, or maybe it has two fingers, I don't know. Either way, there is definitely room for improvement. I feel like Ninjago fans could modify this to make it a lot better than it is, or maybe LEGO could have just given it maybe $10 more uh, in terms of a price and maybe beefed it up a little bit more, dare I say. But still, I think it'll look nice among your Cole collection. So thank you so much for watching. That'll pretty much wrap it up for my thoughts here. That has been my thoughts on set number 71806, Cole's Elemental Earth Mech. Leave all of your thoughts down below in the comments. What do you think about this set? Do you like it? Do you not like it? And thank you so much for tuning in. If you guys enjoyed today's video, feel free to like and subscribe, do all that fun stuff, and I will talk to you guys again very, very soon. Peace.